Hey guys, today's Talk About Missions for Life starts a new segment called Preaching to Friends Part 1. I've been where you are, preaching to your friends. It can be tough. But don't change the way you act at church and at school. If you're afraid that your friends will hate you, then you're rejecting Christ. Don't put on a show at church if you'll deny Christ. Don't go to church if you're afraid of man than of God. Because when you obey God and love Him, you are the church. Change your life when you love God. Because you're not a Christian by wearing a name tag that says you're Christian. You're not a Christian when you do all these good things in front of people. You're a Pharisee. Because being a Christian and being human are two different things. A human is a sinner who doesn't repent, who's afraid of man than of God. But being a Christian means to accept who you are, to accept your calling and embrace it in your heart. So when you love Christ, your life is changed. Don't change your behavior, but change your heart. Because there's healing in God. Be renewed in order to tell others of God. Don't tell someone that a stick is in the eye when you have a log in your own eye. Change yourself first before you can change someone else. The story of the prodigal son. There once was a father and two sons. They lived on a farm and worked hard every single day. One son was religious and obeyed his father. He worked so hard to impress his father every single day. Then there was another son who whined and complained and was tired of his life. So he told his father he wanted to leave and his father let him. His father gave him a choice. So the son went looking for something to fill the hole in his heart. He got drunk every day and committed adultery with other wives. He murdered and stole. But after all that, he still couldn't find the love he needed. So he went back to the farm with all the shame and dirtiness on him. His father was waiting there for him, sitting there waiting. And when he saw his son, he ran to him and embraced him. The moral of the story is that God is waiting there for you. With whatever sin you have, he will embrace it. Kneel before God and repent. The son that didn't obey are the people that reject Christ and want the ways of the world. But no matter what, God will love you. When you run away, he wants you even more. So know this when you preach to your friend. They don't want proof, they want love. Stop proving to them that God exists, but show them the amazing love that they can receive. Life isn't life without God. So help them understand that a life of lust is not living. That the world does not fill you up. Christ does. Now when you preach to a friend, you can't just walk up to them and expect them to listen. You have to embrace them like a brother. Show them the unfailing forgiveness and love that Christ gives you. You have to understand their life, live their life, and know their life. In order for your friend to listen, they need to trust you. Trust you like they trust their mother or their father. They need to know that what you're telling them isn't just another lie for them to accept the religion. Because religion isn't God. Religion isn't Christ. Religion is knowing that God exists and going to church and memorizing the Bible and being a hypocrite. Believing in Christ is different than loving Christ. Because God does not want you to call him Lord if you don't love him. Don't call yourself a Christian if you don't know him. Friend does not need to know that God exists, but rather explain to him the love of God. Plant the seed, let it grow. Stop doing it yourself. Do you know why people don't listen to you when you try to convert them? Because you're not letting God help. Because God doesn't want them to be converted into a religious person. God wants them to love Him. Then He can begin to tell you testimony and tell Him about God's awesome grace. One way to plant the seed is to tell parables to Him and let Him dwell on the parable's meaning. One way I planted a seed into my friend's heart is by giving him a Bible, letting God do the rest. The way to preach to a friend though is to teach him to teach others to teach others about Christ. An unbreakable cycle. There's another parable of preaching. It's called the sower and the seeds. There once was a sower who sowed seeds onto the field. Some fell onto the road and the birds ate them. Some landed into rocks and they sprang up. When the sun came up, they dried and withered away. Some landed into weeds and the weeds choked them. And some landed onto good soil and bare good fruit. This explains what happens when we plant the seed into others. The ones that fall onto the road are the ones who hear the gospel and reject it. The ones that grow onto rocks are people that hear the word and become fake Christians. When the time comes for persecution, they run. The ones that land onto weeds are people who hear the word, but they want the ways of the world even more. Lastly, the ones that land onto good soil are people who understand the word and obey it. So when your friend truly wants to know Jesus, it's your job to lead him through the weeds and the scorching heat of the sun and the birds that come and eat the seeds. Then help him become the church and grow strong in the word. Acts 20, 35 And everything I showed you that by working hard in this manner you must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he himself said it is more blessed to give than to receive. The next video will tell you what to do when people hear the gospel and reject Christ. See you soon.